Hey, it's Will Kimbrough. I'm in my studio out here, Kimbrough Super Service. Um, and i uh, got my nice microphone set up, maybe make these videos sound a little bit better. Uh, my lick of the day today is a song called The Very Last Time. It's on Will and the Bushman's record called The Blunderbuss. And it's kind of a transitional song for me where I'm kind of moving from pop rock to Americana and more of a country roots sound. <clears throat> I wrote this with Radney Foster, yep. The great Radney Foster, uh, Foster and Lloyd in Texas in 1880, Nobody Wins, Angel, Angel Flight. So great artist, great friend. Um, I actually got to produce his album, uh, For You to See the Stars, which also has an accompanying book of short stories. So a very accomplished artist and a great friend and a partner in songwriting with soldiers as well. So I wrote this with Radney in 1988, and uh, it's a drop D. And Radney kind of had this lick going. And it kind of had like that Richard Thompson kind of thing, but also was still country. So anyway, we wrote this song, and I've always loved it. And so uh, I'll do it for you now. I've got a Patreon page going, so it's patreon.com forward slash Will Kimbrough. And it's going really well for me. I've got a whole new album of acoustic songs that I'm offering to the first 150 Patreon patrons. So about 40 more people are going to get it. And uh, ultimately, I'll put it out to the public, but I'm offering it to Patreon patrons first. We've got a, a great new design for Pollen Fest t-shirts with the mirror ball, and uh, it's going to be awesome. So I'm excited about that. We're going to offer the Pollen Fest shirts first to the Patreon patrons as well, and then you'll be able to get it as well. Pollen Fest 6 is tonight with Eamon McLaughlin on fiddle. If you've ever seen the Grand Ole Opry or the Green Cards or Emmylou Harris or Rodney Crowell or... Uh, a whole bunch of other great artists. You've seen Eamon, he's a master fiddler and mandolin player. He's an, I got an Irish name, but he's from England. And uh, he's a great friend. We play with Emmy Lou, and I'm um, excited to have him play with me tonight. It's gonna be a whole different show. I'm gonna play the acoustic album from beginning to end tonight. And you'll be able to hear my versions of some songs I've never released, some new versions of a few old songs of mine and a new arrangement, and some brand new songs, including a tribute to John Prine and a tribute to my right wing friend. <laughs> So this is called The Very Last Time. Love didn't turn out like you planned That kind of plan has never worked You put your head down in the sand And now you wonder just why it hurts You're telling me that you're leaving that it's for good this time I hope you don't change your mind Cause it's the very last time I'll play that part The very last time I'll risk my heart If I bury my pride Will you come back for the very last time? always want some kind of hero you always want what's out of reach you want me perfect like Bob De Niro love's never perfect so forget that speech you better make this a good one cause it's my last time out I love you without a doubt But it's the very last time I'll play that part The very last time I'll risk my heart If I bury my pride Will you come back for the very last time? My heart's not just a plaything It could break any time Cause I'm all yours and you're not quite mine
There's the very last time. You can definitely hear Radney's influence in there, his sense of melody, his sense of economy of lyrics, and how to get to a chorus that has a memorable melody to it. So, and it may be the only country song with Bob De Niro in it. Can't take that away from me and Radney Foster. We wrote that song. I also like, if I bury my pride, will you come back for the very last time? It's a good line. And um, so, check out my Patreon. Please watch Pollen Fest 6 tonight and look out for that new album. And look out for those awesome Pollen Fest t-shirts with the mirror ball and a springtime kind of image for this crazy time we're all living through. And um, I'm excited about playing with Eamon McLaughlin tonight. A master musician is going to accompany little old me. And uh, keep listening. Check out my Patreon because that's where music, all my music is going to come out there first from here on out. I love it. It's like it's something that was made for me. A creative, diverse artist who creates all the time and I get to share it with my patrons. And then that music eventually makes it out to the general public. But until it does, it all gets put through this Patreon so I can just share it with people because I enjoy it. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye.